All right, we are going to talk today in grammar, our grammar study, about present participles. All right, so I'm going to start by writing my name at the top of my paper. So the present participle of regular verbs is formed by adding ing to the verb. So we kind of um, worked on this last week when we had all those ing spelling words. There we go. It's a little clearer now, right? So to, to form the present participle, you just add ing to the verb. So for example, and they've given us some examples, walk plus ing is walking. Move plus ing is moving. The participle form of a verb can be used as an adjective. So you could say that you could say that um, it's it's a verb, but it's also an adjective. So for example, the crawling ants look very busy. Crawling is describing the ants, right? So we it could be a verb. It could also be an adjective. Their scurrying bodies are all over the grass. Scurrying is describing what their bodies are doing, right? So it becomes an adjective. All right, so let's make some present participles on the line, right? The present participle form of the verb shown in parentheses. So sometimes we're going to drop some letters when we do this, right? If it ends in an E, we're going to drop the E and add ING. So for example, the forage, this is going to become foraging. We drop the E. The foraging ants ran for cover from the rain. If you're foraging, it means you're looking around, you're searching around. Usually you're looking for food, right? Or you might be foraging if you lost something. You might be looking for something that you lost. All right, number two. Their shelter nest keeps the rain out. We're going to add ing to shelter, and it becomes sheltering. Let's look at number three, the tower plus ing, the towering anthill is really something to see. Number four, the shift plus ing, the shifting walls of the nest are not sturdy. Okay, now what you're going to do, now that you know how to do this, there are four on the end and you're going to do the last four. When you're all done, we will check them. I'm going to pause for a second and let you work on them on your own, and then when you're all done, we will check them. Ready, set, go. Okay, so on number five, last week a feasting armadillo, F-E-A-S-T-I-N-G, armadillo ate many ants. Number six, its projecting nose dug them out. Today, harvest plus ing, harvesting ants, are gathering leaves. Number eight, their slicing jaws cut leaves. I'm going to drop the E on slice. 
So it's S-L-I-C-I-N-G. All right. I hope this helped you, and I hope you, you've probably used present participles. You just didn't know what they were called, right? So now you are using them, and you know what they're called. Hi. Oh, sure. Hi. I left it right by the gate in the little bowl. Did he also, did he get, um, hang on just a second. All right, so hopefully you got feasting, projecting, harvesting, and slicing as your answers. And the only one we dropped the E on was slicing. All the rest of them we just had to add ING. So hopefully you understand a little bit better that um, present participles are just made by adding ING. All right, thanks for joining me.